let's get our Aries academic gradebooks set up. First thing I'm going to have you do when you log into Aries is come over on this left hand side over here and click on gradebook. Now that I'm in gradebook, we're going to click on add gradebook up here at the top. First thing I have to do is decide what period of time this is going to be. You can choose a gradebook to be for a whole year and there's a few other toggles you'll have to choose. You can also just choose for one trimester at a time. For this one, I'm going to set it up as trimester one. I like having things separate. You can choose either one if you'd like. Now I need to choose a section. Because I'm an elementary school teacher, I only have one section right here. So I'm going to associate my class with this gradebook and now I need to give it a name. I'm going to call this my Reading Language Arts that's spelled correctly. I'm choosing that one because in our new gradebook that was released, this is the name of one of the categories in our report cards. I'm sorry, in our new report cards that were released in a recent email from Christine Chapman. They had the grading guidebook, which had examples of report cards. So this is one of the grades for uh, my grade level. Don't forget to push save. If you don't push save, it will get deleted and you'll have to do it all over again. So I'm gonna click save. And now I have my options to edit my gradebook. So the first thing I'm gonna do is talk about these options. This is options right here. This will give me uh, information on how I can uh, define a couple things in my gradebook. There's not much that really needs to be done there. And then in each gradebook, I need to establish some categories. And we'll go over that in a second. After that, we need to make sure we have students added to the class. And then we have finally assignments, which is where we add and enter assignments. So first thing I'm going to do is come over here to options. There's only two things I want to bring to your attention. The first one is down here towards the bottom where it says hide drop students. If you check this box right here, what that will do if a student leaves your class in the middle of the grading period, uh, you will not have to jump over their name when you're entering scores. It'll hide them from your gradebook. You'll still have their grades in there, so if they move to a, a different teacher in BCSD, they'll have those grades associated with them, but you won't have to worry about what's going on uh, with that. The other option right here is this display final mark. Right now, by default, I can see it and parents and students can see it. If I want to temporarily turn it off for parents and students as we build up the number of assignments in this gradebook, that'll help prevent me from having to answer the same question over and over again. Why does my uh, child have such a low grade in this if they didn't turn in some of their assignments? So that's totally up to you. If you want to uncheck that, I'm going to leave it checked because it's going to eventually be their grade anyway. I just wanted to show you that was available. Now I'm going to come over here to categories. Every gradebook needs a category. Now because this is my reading language arts category, I'm going to add a couple different grades here. I'm going to add a classwork grade or a category. I'm going to add an assessment category. And I am going to add accelerated reader. Now Oftentimes as a student, I got frustrated when some teachers 100 points for one assignment was worth not very much while 100 points for another assignment at a different teacher was worth so many points. So what I like to do actually is use Aries weighted scoring system. And what that helps me do is keep track of the grade without having to do so much math myself. By clicking on do weighted scoring, I decide, okay, of my total reading language arts grade that they have, what percent of their grade is going to be classwork, what percent is assessment, and what percent is AR. Now, I do not want AR to ever affect a student's overall grade, so I'm going to make it worth 10% of their total grade. So even if they don't do any AR, they can still get an A. So I'll only help them from there. And then I like doing 50% uh, for assessments and 40% for classwork. If you have a lot of other types of categories, feel free to add them. This isn't the best example. I'm just giving um, a case scenario that you could do. If you like color coding your classwork versus assessments versus AR, you can by clicking on this. 
choosing a color, so classwork will be fuchsia, assessments will be orange, and AR will be neon green. And that will help me keep track of assignments when I'm going through the gradebook. So I'm going to click save right here, otherwise it won't save. Now I'm going to jump over assignments and go straight to manage students. I'm going to click on add students. All of these students are associated with my class. I'm going to click add all students. And Aries is so much faster now that they've added a little bit more power to the server. So I'm going to click close there. And now all those students are added. I can leave gradebook 